Christmas resolutions aren't always about finances or the gym. They can also center around learning a new skill sometimes. Mm -hmm. That's exactly what Dina's doing this morning. She's live from Fair Oaks. Oh. Yes, good morning Let's to go. all of you. Okay, so I have always wanted to know how to knit and how to weave and how to use yarn. So we are here with Gabrielle Men this morning. Good morning to you. Good morning. And you are actually teaching us how to dye because in the last half hour we showed you how to get to this point, right, yep. where we have it all uh, spooled together. So, okay, so what are we doing? <laughs> so we're adding a little bit of color because when you have this many white sheep on the farm, you get a little snow blind. <laughs> <laughs> so why not add a little pop of color? Yes, so, look at that. How long we leave the yarn in the dye for? Will also affect how deep or rich of a color we're gonna get. Okay. So we're gonna just go ahead and gently. I don't want to be splashed. Okay, gently. okay, gently. gently. We do not want hot pink all over ourselves today. <laughs> okay, there we go. And this is just one method because there's a lot of different ways of dyeing. Yeah, so besides dyeing yarn, yep. we can also dye the fiber that we've already carded and combed. Uh huh. Got yep. the tangles yes, out? Yes, we got all the tangles out, washed it because it had a little farm smell to it, but now it's all clean. <laughs> it's fluffy. It's, <laughs> it's so fluffy. Okay. <laughs> so we've got roving. That's what it's called after it comes off of the carding machine. Okay. And we are going to put it in a pot of teal <gasps> dye bath. Ooh. We're just going to drop the whole thing in here. Okay. Again, I don't want to splash. Don't splash. No, don't and splash. it's so soft. Oh my gosh. Okay, so we've got down. our. Yep. Poke it down. Poke it down. And then, and so you have to leave this in here for depending on how deep you want the color, how long? On honestly, it's only about 20 minutes or so. Oh, okay. With heat. Okay. So I'm gonna take it inside and put it on the stove and okay. and let it just kind of get in there and really saturate to lock the pigment onto the fiber. Oh, and you can start to see kind of the underneath up. pieces. How? Oh, yeah, that is nice bright blue. <gasps> I love this. That would be fun for a little baby blanket or something. Absolutely. Yeah. So something else that I do yes. as if I don't do enough. <laughs> Since this doesn't keep me busy enough. As a busy homeschooling mom, <laughs> I am also a natural childbirth educator. I yes. teach the Bradley method of natural childbirth, and yeah. I'm a doula. Yeah. I get to attend births and, and help families through the physical, mental, and emotional process of yeah. labor. Yeah. So, something that I am doing for my students this year. Uh -huh. Everybody that takes my class has the opportunity to win something handmade. Which. With love. Yes, with love. Which I uh, will tell you, look at all the things behind us. She's doing beanies. She has these little mitts as well. And then finally, you have one more dye method, real quickly in the next 10 seconds, because we got to go. But I want to see there's one more way that you can dye. Okay, we've got yarn in here, three yep. different jars of color. We're just going to pour a little bit over here. So, this is how you get the multicolored yarn that you see sometimes yes. in the stores. But of course, this is all handmade. Oh my gosh, so pretty. And how can people find you, Gabrielle? Look me up on Facebook. And you can also reach out by calling me on my cell phone. Call, okay. text, anytime. Okay, we're going to have all the information on the screen for you again. Gabrielle, thank you so very much. She is a fiber artist working hard to make sure that we have some nice things to wear this winter. Keep Back to you. <laughs> looks so cute on you. And soft. And well dyed.